Good morning, dear students. Um, in my last class, we discussed about vertex and uh, sides of pol polygon. Today, we shall discuss about angles and triangles, different type of, uh, types of triangles and circles. What is an angle? Um, as we know, angles are formed when two rays meet at a point. Suppose I am having a ray uh, 0 A. If this ray is meeting at point O with the ray OB, OB and OA are meeting at point O, then this is an angle. One angle will be formed when two rays meet at a single point. These two rays are called arms of arms of the angle. And this is arm of the arms of the angle. So arms of the angle arms of the angle here here in my uh, diagram what are the arms of the angle that is o a o and a o and b o a and o b these are the two arms of the angle b o a or a o b so how to name the angle starting from this point a o b or b o a we have to name the angle like that the point at which the two rays meet it this point this uh, the, uh, designation will come at the meeting of, middle of the name that means if you say the angle a o b this vertex where the two rays meet this is known as vertex this will come in the middle if i say b o a then b o a also um, refer to this angle to de desire to uh, show that it is an angle we have to give a sign of angle before the name of the angle so o is vertex o is vertex for us o is called vertex where to the, where the both the arms meet and the name of the name of the angle is angle is the symbol of angle a o b a o b or angle b o a b o a so this is what you have to know about angles so if i tell you to find the arms of and an angle suppose you are having an angle this is suppose at o at, at o a the two rays a b and a c are meeting so what will be the uh, arms arms will be uh, what will be the arms a b a b and a c a c are the arms of this angle what will be the vertex vertex will be both the rays meeting at the point a so a is the vertex and name of the angle will be what will be the name it will be b a c angle b a c or angle c a b 
from this side also you can say from this side also you can say or angle c a b but this vertex should be at the middle of the uh, name so this is how uh, you have to uh, name an angle and find the arms and find the vertex now we shall be going to the next topic uh, triangles we know that uh, in a triangle we have uh, three sides which is a closed figure so triangles are of three types when all the three sides are equal all the three sides are equal then it is called equilateral triangle so in this di uh, diagram if it is 4 cm this is also 4 cm this is also 4 cm so in case of equilateral triangle we get that all the sides are equal when two sides of a triangle are equal that is called isosceles triangle so here in this picture we have pq and pr and these two sides are these two sides are equal uh, so this uh, triangle is called isosceles triangle if any triangle is having two sides equal then it is called isosceles triangle if a triangle has no sides equal that means all the three sides are unequal not equal then that is called scalene triangle so you can see um, sorry this is e scalene triangle um, in a scalene triangle all the three sides are of different length so in activity 5 um, you, you are having you are given some problems um, all the sides are equal what will be that in a triangle that will be equilateral triangle if two sides are equal of a triangle then it will be isosceles if no sides are equal then it is scalene um, triangle mm, so you check activity 5 for that next one is circle a circle is a carved shape uh, this is carve carve surface this is a carve surface and there at the middle of the circle there is the center of the circle mm, if we join any point on the circle with the center suppose this is on the circle I am joining it with the center here one point and I am joining with the center then it is called the radius so this is also radius this is also radius so radius is what if we join the center of the circle center is center of the circle is o if we join o and any point of the circle with the center then the distance o a o b or o c is called the radius in a circle in a circle if we join two points and the line goes to the center this is suppose our center I am joining these two points A and B but the line goes to the center then it is called diameter so diameter is what diameter is uh, 
diameter is what if I join two points and the line goes through the center of the circle and then that is diameter in a uh, in a circle in a circle you can see if this is radius uh, the center and any point on the circle if we join that is radius if I extend this line then it will become a diameter that means if it is radius this is also radius because uh, the all the radius radii of a circle are equal so this is radius this is radius but totally up to this it become a diameter therefore diameter is equal to r plus r r plus r this r and this r if we add this will make a diameter so r is nothing but 2 into 2 radiuses that means r we in place of r i can write radius plus radius so if you are given find the diameter of a circle whose radius is uh, suppose 5 centimeter then diameter will be how much radius plus radius that is equal to 10 centimeter um, I will show how to solve this um, after that we will be able to solve to how to find diameter and radius of a circle here I am uh, explaining two examples find the diameter of the circle whose radius is 16 centimeter so diameter as I have mentioned diameter is 2 into radius radius is 16 centimeter so 2 into 16 is 32 centimeter next question is find the radius of a circle whose diameter is 14 centimeter so radius is equal to diameter divided by 2 so uh, radius is given 14 centimeter if you divide by 2 you get 14 divide by 2 you get 7 so answer is 7 centimeter you have to remember these two uh, rules uh, for solving this type of question